Hello and welcome. Uh, today we will see what is a signal and how we can handle signals in our C++ code. So basically signals are the interrupts that are delivered to the process by the operating system. There can be different types of interrupts. Uh, suppose uh, the operating system detects some illegal instructions in your program then it sends back the callback to your C++ application in your program you will get a callback and there you can handle it maybe uh, because of invalid access to its storage or termination request or some abnormal termination of program let's say suppose your program crashed somewhere so you will get a callback in your uh, uh, in your if you are handling the signals so the OS will send you the signals you need to handle it and there you can do different types of things you can uh, have your own exception or you can write the crash dump so crash dump I will show you in this same tutorial uh, here I will uh, show you how you can generate crash dump file that is a dmp dot dmp file uh, whenever you uh, double click the crash dump file it will show you exactly where your program is crashed in which line and what is the value because of what it crashed so it will show you everything uh, let's just start with a small example of uh, uh, signal handling I will show you what all kinds of signals there are in the C++ so let's say uh, I have a console application and uh, there I am going to write in a main function my program is going to crash let's say okay so for signal we need to include the signal.h header file and uh, I will show you there are different kinds of signals just open it and here you can see there are sig int, sig l, sig fp uh, about uh, eight signals are there so sig int is for interrupt sig l for whenever the prog the os catches some illegal instruction similarly for float floating point exception or some segment violation or the abnormal termination okay so this is sig abort for abnormal termination sig term for software termination so these things uh, will give you callback in your function so i will show you how you can uh, register the signals so let's uh, write a function to register signals this we do in the very beginning of the of the main program so what i mean to say in your uh, main uh, the very first thing you have to do is to register the signals and here let's uh, register the signals so to register the signal we call this signal function and uh, we have a different kind of signal sig int and uh, let's write down a function where I'll get a callback so the function let it be a static function so static void some signal handler function and uh, this signal handler function will get an int value and that will be some id <coughs> okay. and here we are just going to print it out on the console now for this function we will register all the signals <coughs> that we want to get a callback for so for all the eight signals currently we have we'll just sig in sig l similarly <coughs> sig fpe sig sig this will be called for segment violation so we can have different uh, functions for uh, different kind of signals but in this program I just wanted to uh, give you a small example so I'm having the same function for all the all the types of signals that I will be uh, getting from the OS you can <coughs> you can have different functions for different signals okay so we call register signals and here uh, let's uh, write down some code when 
my program will crash okay let's not uh, allocate any memory for this and uh, let's uh, try to assign some value definitely my program is going to crash here now when I run this as expected my program crashed and now when I say continue I'll get a call back in the signal handler saying that the ID is 11 so 11 is I guess we have 6 seg this segment segment violation it says segment violation so uh, we can uh, write down some kind of mechanism here to uh, not not the program to be crashed and uh, we can handle some kind of uh, uh, code here and we can show some information to the user okay so now I will show you uh, how you can write down the crash dump 